So this question says, for which of the following conditions will the sum of integers m and n always be an odd integer? So uh, how do I translate this a little bit? Well, it's saying that I want m plus n to equal an odd number. Okay, so I, I know nothing about m or n as of now, but I do know that when I add them together, it should... It should be odd. In fact, it should always be odd. So that's that's important. It's not just a single time that it works. It should always be odd. So because there's no other information provided, I must go to my answer choices now. And let's test these out. So choice F says M is an odd integer. Well, um, I can make up a number for that, which, I, which is what I suggest you do. So let's say uh, M is 3, right? So 3 plus n is odd. Well, how does that work, right? Is that always, is the fact that this is 3 make this situation always happen? Well, of course not, because n matters, right? Because if n is 1, it's not odd. If n is 3, it's not odd, right? If n is 5, it's not odd. So f is gone, right? m being an odd number is not a condition that makes m plus n always odd an odd integer. So how about choice G? Well, N is an odd integer. I think that we should automatically know, right, if I were to say N is 3, that this should not work for the exact same reasons that M being odd and that being the condition that makes this always true, right? The reason why we determine that M or choice F should be crossed out is the exact same reason that we should decide that G should be crossed out because again, M could be one, three, five, any of those numbers uh, makes the answer even and not odd. So choice G is gone. Now we're getting into uh, where we're looking at both variables here. So choice H says M and N are both odd integers. All right, well, let's see. M equals 3. I said N equals 3. Well, that would make that equal to 6. So there's an example where that doesn't work. So H is crossed out. If I had said even M is 1 and N is 3, that would have been 4, right? So those are two examples where that's definitely not the case. Um, choice J, M and N are both even integers. Well, let's check that out. So if M is 2, what if n was also 2? Well, that would be 4, so there's an example of it not working. If m were 2 and n were 4, well, that would be 6. So that's another example of that not uh, giving us an odd integer. So choice k says m is an odd integer and n is even. Well, let's try that out. So if m is 2 and n is 3, we get 5. Well, that's good, but let me just make sure. Now, if m were 2 and n were 5, we get 7, right? So there's two examples. And if you continue to make examples here, you'd see that this is the scenario that makes it always work. Therefore, choice K is the correct answer.